Hey guys, it's Rose from Yoga for All with Rose. Today I wanted to introduce a new mindful movement snack for opening and stretching the shoulder area as well as the neck. So often um, our work tends to take us forward, rounding, hunched over, and with this mindful movement snack, I wish to seek the opposite direction of that in order to bring balance to the upper, this is what I call upper register. So um, let's just start by placing the, the back of your hand gently on your lower back. It's almost like I'm rubbing my lower back a little bit here and feel how that turns the upper arm in. That's what we want. So I think first for us to open the chest is just to find a little bit of rotation in the upper arm. So gently extend your arms, my fingers are facing down, and then I'm just gonna open my thumbs towards the back space as far as they go for you. And note how the elbows start moving forward Maybe you lift the heart up, maybe you look up, and then just turning them back in, maybe even sliding the hands to the back again, opening and gently rotating the arm towards the back, and automatically I wish to lift my heart, and then internal rotation, slide them back. And one more time, finding that opening and then rotating down and then just come to center and feel your spine being straight. So maybe you place your hands on your hips, find the ribs on top of your hips and the shoulders on top of it all. Now let's place one hand on your lower back and one hand on the back of your head. And we're just very gently Think about tucking your chin towards your chest and move into the hand behind your back, behind your uh, head. So it's a very minimal movement, almost like I'm trying to push my head to the hand behind my head. So it's a very minimal movement, but this reminds our necks of the direction going back instead of forward, hunched forward. And one more time, I'm just very slowly gliding there and then coming back. Now, that might be more of a thought than a physical movement. I don't know how well that translates in the camera, but that's a lovely break for you to take any time of the day, just gently, leading the back of the head, head to your hands. And from there, extend one arm overhead, reaching high up with the fingers, finding this side body length, and then bending at the elbow like you're trying to pat yourself in the back. And if it's available to you, you can even pull that elbow very gently up. Now make sure that your your center line doesn't collapse. So think about lengthening the spine and closing the ribs so that they don't just splay open. Really grounding through the, your seat. And think about almost like lifting energetically your elbow up. And then just gently let go and float that arm down. One breath to take it in and out. And then let's reach the opposite arm up and first just find that long length in that side body and then bending the elbow, hand goes behind you, wherever it is available to you. And maybe you just stay here and focus on really closing this area toward the center line not letting go of the ribs. If it's available you, to you, the opposite hand might go to the elbow and gently pull it back. But think more up with the, with the elbow. 
it might again it might be the idea more than the action but energetically we don't want to collapse we want to find length and from that length we want to find the uh, stretch that feels good gently letting go extending the arm up and then floating down now float both arms up and really feel your shoulder blades come down your back and then reaching them up and hold on to your we're gonna do um hold on to one wrist i'll let you choose which way you wish to go today and just pull on that wrist doing a little side bend breathe there tucking the chin uh, slightly and then inhale brings you up take a moment then reach the other wrist and think in length and from that length you find your side bend again tuck your chin slightly finding that long expression of the spine being where it is comfortable for you it is a very intense stretch for me but I'm not going to go further than what feels right for me. And then just floating those arms down. Now cross your first arm across, gently holding on to the upper arm or the lower arm, breathing, maybe pushing down the shoulder, sort of like extra intentionally. And then with a long arm, open back to the side and open it behind your shoulder line. So it's a little bit of a stretch for our chest here. And then from there, reach to the very back corner, energetic fingers reaching behind you and then go down towards the bottom back corner. And then come to the middle and gently bend your elbow, come back to center. Take the other arm, cross it from your shoulder to the side, gently pulling on the lower arm or the upper arm. Maybe intentionally bringing the shoulders down, thinking about having a lot of space for your neck. And from there, let go the arm that held it and just open it to the side. And now reach behind your shoulder line. This is going to look different to everyone. Just trying to find that horizontal reach behind you, opening that chest, opening the arm. And from there, keep reaching to the top corner of your back space and coming down towards the bottom corner of your top space and from there come to the middle reaching out one more time energetic fingers reaching out and then melt it down and just very gently do a couple shoulder rolls one way or the other and then Re reverse your direction kind of grazing the ears maybe and then coming down and I always like doing a little bit of a twist so heavy arms just one shoulder forward one shoulder back a little bit of movement here and now I invite you to put your hand back to the back of your head and very gently push with the back of your head to that hand and then come back almost like you're just thinking of tucking your chin down and come back and a third time and then just let go beautiful from here give yourself a hug one arm over the other just crossing the center line hold on to whatever it's, is available for you we are all built different so the shape, the form will look different and I wish to celebrate that. Giving yourself a hug. Maybe the elbows come up, maybe the elbows travel down. Play a little bit with the mobility that you have in this hug. Beautiful. And from there, 
just gently open the lower arm and if it is available for you wrap them maybe they just come up find your eagle arms this would be your eagle arms and then just gently breathe there and breathe a little bit more and then gently melting down letting go beautiful now hug yourself with the opposite hand on top see how that feels just rest there for a moment maybe it's more towards the side maybe it's towards the top of the shoulder feel what feels good to you the idea is to really give yourself a hug here maybe lifting up the elbows and bringing them down exploring the movement availability and range with this pose and from there gently release the lower arm maybe the the hands just come to touch or maybe if it's available to you you may wish to wrap them and breathe there with your eagle arms paying attention to those shoulders that they don't run up they just stay breathing fully to your chest and then gently letting go coming back to your neutral now i invite you to close your eyes or maybe you turn the gaze inwards and take one exaggerated inhale feel your chest feel the top of your chest the ribs everything expand and with a sigh let it all out one more time inhale through your nose fill up your chest all the thoracic cavity and then sigh it out and then just take a moment to listen to all messages observe what your body tells you and appreciate all the little messages that our body communicates and asks our attention to go to i thank you for letting me guide you through this mindful movement snack um, it's my pleasure and joy to have this initiative if you haven't already, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you. I wish you a wonderful day.